Yes. Um, let's start. Let's let's read the comments before Phil goes. New segment time. So let's see the comments here. What is a noble gas? More Jeff commented. Uh, he left a timestamp. Pretty sure it was a bot. And then linked freedatinggirls.com. What? <laughs> right, now click on freedatinggirls.com, uh, but thanks. Did you uh, mention anything about women in that Novo Gas video? Nope. What about the timestamp? 21 seconds. <laughs> what, what was happening at 21 seconds? Literally just me talking about what the video is going to be about. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have a new guest, guest star, TGIF Talks 42. The Reverend commented, Mrs. Reverend and I would love to guest star, uh, guest co-star sometime. Really make the channel explode! Exclamation point. Well, that's our next guest. Unfortunately, well, he okay. So it, it would have to be this Sunday or next Tuesday. But because since we're so busy this Tuesday, I don't think it's gonna work Sunday. Mm -hmm. So so it'll just be you and I doing the podcast Sunday, and then Tuesday we're too busy. And then he gets married the 18th, and so we'll do a normal podcast the 18th. And then that next Sunday obviously won't work again. Mm -hmm. It would have to be that Tuesday after that one. So we just not do a podcast that Sunday, do it that Tuesday. But he should be back from uh, his honeymoon to Missouri. The Ozarks? Okay. Who go? I don't know. I like hearing yeah. you guys schedule things while I'm just sitting here like, yeah, I'm driving a Prius. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're not driving a Prius. If I turned on my screen set right now, you'd literally see me driving a Toyota Prius. Oh, you're you're coding, that's right. I, yeah, I'm coding right now. I'm trying to get two uh, boats to work. That's I literally have to get like two like three speed boats working for a video tonight. One of which is gonna have to have the ability to pull a tube in the water. Oh, so that one's the most complex, they're all done. I got stuff where uh, windows open, motors lift up, things all pivot. It's it's fun. But that's why I'm kind of like partially like disconnected because I'm over here like trying to get things to work. <laughs> Good luck with that. Not, not too bad. I think I got all of them done. I got one last boat to crank out and it's the easiest of all three. Hopefully. I'll say that and it'll be the most pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. the trailer though, it's got some nice features. <laughs> <That> is. <laughs> trailer. So. I'm uh, pulling a trailer with a Prius Right. With a Prius? <laughs> That's a powerful Prius. Hey, I, I beefed up the back suspension. Oh my god. Yeah, I, 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 I even installed the, the backup beep when you put it in reverse. It goes. It's great. The if Prius. You in a Prius, when it goes in reverse, you might not want to ride in one. If you do not like high pitched sounds that are constant, do not buy a Prius. Oh, it'll be, it'll Wait, your Prius really beep? If you listen to a Prius back up, literally, it's only in the interior, too. It has, a, like, a high-pitched beep sound. Oh, it should have that, that dog whistle that you tried to play. Remember that, whatever that meme that was you tried to play at the 4th of July? Oh, this one. Well, uh, well, you have to get going, but, yeah, I'll play it here. This is what it should play. I <laughs> just backed it up. Oh, boy. This is going to take a bit to find it. Anyways. I probably won't be able to listen to the whole thing. time we were in history class with one of the old teachers and uh, we played it and he's like turn that off and then it turned off but we didn't turn it off it got so high pitched he couldn't hear it anymore <laughs> but we're all giggly and laughing our butts off as it's still getting higher pitched <laughs> oh good yes turn it off 
Uh, All right. Oh, goodbye, Phil. Oh, uh, take the take yeah, this. Yeah. We'll need for the next podcast. Yes. Yeah. Oh no! Now it's just me. Now it's just you and I. Uh oh, this is scary. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> no, 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 this is normal. You lock the door. Now. Yes, it's locked. Well, anyways. This unlocked. Now we can discuss. Great. Now we can discuss. Are you telling a trailer? Just the prison. Yes. Hey, don't be mad at me. I had to do the project for a guy about six months ago, and then he's like, and I told him, like, yeah, I better do that for you before you know it gets like five months later. I mean, I guess a priest might have enough power to pull a trailer, but you'd have to re gear it. Sort of. I mean, you could pull something. I, 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 saw, a full, I, saw, I saw a Ford Focus the other day pulling a U Haul trailer. I was like, huh? Uh, yeah, but how big of one are we talking here? There was, well, no, it was, that's what I'm saying, it was a really small trailer. Yeah, I thought we are probably like a boat trailer here. Dude, a boat trailer is probably about the same. With a boat. Less than the, U- than the U-Haul trailer. With the big boat on it. The boat's made of like fiberglass, dude. Oh, I was thinking like one of those really big ones where it was like basically a yacht. No, 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 no. Like single axle boat trailers. Oh. Or even even if it's a dual axle one, those things still are fairly light. Like they're not too heavy. Plus the plus that big part of the engine, it'd be lifting up the back half of the car, not the front half, because all the weight of the boat is technically towards the back with the motors. Right. Well. That is unless you have like a jet driven one. I did not realize this. Boats are cool. They are like <laughs> the best sounding things in on earth. Yeah. Like they're straight up old V8s and those things. It's like, yeah! It was great. Boats are interesting. But actually, we should probably discuss the future of our channels here, Buck. Yes. Uh, uh, Last time, what, you said you didn't know what you were going to do? I mean, what's your uh, path to 100,000 look like? I mean, you've gained uh, 4,000 subscribers since the last time you were on. That was six weeks ago? Somewhere around there. Uh, if I could say if I had a plan to get to 100,000, I'd be like, if you guys really want to stick around, I'll be trying to put out quality content. If you don't want to stick around and not watch quality content, well, or at least the bystander of what quality is, hey, that's, that's, that's okay. I can find more people that want to watch. Right. I put out stuff when I want to. I would love to make YouTube a full-time job, but just right now, uh, the, the situation of I constantly like to uh, improve the stuff I use in my videos or I'm trying to get stuff to make more, say, real videos, it, like a little IRL stuff, then it, it just kind of depends. You're Mr. Beast. Sort of-ish, but I'm talking like this fall, I might actually have a shot to go help out a family friend do some harvest, and I might get to run one of the carts for the harvest stuff, so I might be driving around tractor with a giant cart behind me and I can do some harvesting stuff, but I don't own a GoPro, or I don't own one of those kinds of cameras, so I have to go are... Well, I don't know if you get the Hero 5 anymore. The Hero 5 was really cheap. Well, the one that I was looking at, I can get myself one of the big, one of the newer ones, it's just that I have to, like, either word save up for it or uh, possibly get lucky on a present or something for it, but... Uh, I can get, like, the kit of that. It's just that I need to kind of have one of those things to start making more real videos. Yes. Other than that, it'd be my phone. Cause right. Because one that I did for the 10K thing, that was a little, like, vloggy thingy that was borrowed from a college. Yeah. So, Phil and I were trying to figure out if we could do a, uh, a, uh, words, math, uh, a collab. And then I had this thought, well, once my computer's built, I'll be doing Minecraft gaming. But I, and I was thinking, wait a minute, Buck is well-versed in modding. What if you made a Minecraft mod? So, like, showcased you making on your that, channel. Isn't that all JavaScript? Yeah, oh, you don't know Java, do you? No, I know a guy that does know Java. Do you know C++? I use Notepad++. I wonder, right, if that's C++, you could probably make a... Can you make Bedrock mods? Or those just data packs? I have to do some research. I don't... Yeah, I'm... Mainly 
farm sim stuff is about as big as I, I well, that's pretty much the only thing I've done. When it comes to the Lua scripting or JavaScripting, whatever you want to call it, well, Lua files, I have no idea where to start. Like, I watched some of it, but, like, when I was watching one guy do it, he was just showing, like, how to um, install some sort of light, and he was, no, uh, what was he doing? He was making a modification to something that was already in the game, but he had to type stuff for the mod's description. Mm -hmm. And this boy's over here typing, like, the title, like, the brackets to go with title and description. Like, what I do is I just go into one that's already done, copy, paste, and then I re-script it or rewire it. Like, I don't write the code. I just copy, paste from something that already worked, and then I just rewire it to something else. Like, if you're going on eBay, bought a wiring harness for a car, and you just swap them out. That's what I'm doing. I'm not going over here and just typing everything in there going, this needs to be done like this. So, I need to make so you can't actually co read, a re you can, can't really actually code, you just know how to rewrite it. <laughs> in other words, yeah, like, I can code because I have to do all the index paths. Like, there's some lines of code that I will type because you have to, because you won't be able to unless, you, unless you're typing. You can't just go copy and paste some of this stuff. Like, I have, it's mainly the numbers that I'm working not necessarily the brackets of the code, but you have to make sure that everything's in line because maybe you want some sort of propeller blade to spin, but to get that to work, if you have like an apostrophe or a comma in somewhere that's supposed to be this, the entire thing just won't work at all. Yes. It's not the first line or the last line. You have to have everything in line. Right. And sometimes everything will work and it'll throw like some error that this thing doesn't exist and you'll go look at it and all of a sudden you had some bracket somewhere that you didn't need. Like, what? So, I, I wouldn't, cause that's why when someone says, you need to do stuff with computers and coding, it's like, yeah, I do coding, but it's not like I'm the guy that's writing all this stuff. Right, you don't actually know the language. No, like, in a way, yes, in a way, no. Right. I could, I love to go in there and uh, manipulate some things to uh, my own standards like i like to work with the animations i'm really good with timing like i had to do something with some ladder on the side of no i did some like mower deck where i had to make sure all these chains they rotated and transitioned at the same time so that way when the mower deck goes up all the parts pivot at the right time and, and everything else i love doing that stuff when it comes to just the timing as well as how many parts have to move at a certain time some things have to move same here and when it got done it was a beautiful animation right but when someone's like uh can you write me an entire motor code i just go grab it from another vehicle because i know it's it consists of like motor uh motor code, like differentials and all that stuff like there's it's fairly straightforward all of them run off the same sort of style it's just that i don't prefer to go and start my own mod and write all the code i could if i wanted to just that it's easier when you can go grab it off of something that works and then just rewire it. Right. So, yeah, I mean, it was just an idea I spat out there. But Phil says we need to do like a two-parter. Like the first part's on your channel and the second part's on mine. Yeah, I see how this is going. Yeah. I advertise you. <laughs> hey, that was <laughs> Phil. Phil said that. Personally, if it were up to me, we just make a video on your channel and call it good. Well, I mean, that would be, I can do whatever when it comes to that. I mean, heck, I could just stream it if you wanted. Right. That's... I mean, we just have to, we just, I just don't have any ideas, though. That's the thing. I just go into Minecraft and I go, I like a house. I want to build a house. I build a house. And then I just leave Minecraft for, like, three months. <laughs> like, I have it, but I haven't necessarily done a lot on it. There was one of my buddies that owned some realm thingy, and they got me all hooked up with, not a realm, um, it was actually just regular multiplayer game, but they we had this whole um, Bakian Hamachi or something like that, and it pretty much wired me to their network, like I've been in the house with them. So it was kind of cool, so I was playing on their thing from here, and the other guys are over in Iowa. So, oh, we do that all the time. Literally all I, I mean, it's just a multiplayer game on Bedrock. I don't know how, I don't think you can do it on Java. We were on Java. Really? Yeah. A while to get it set up just because everything was funky. But once we got in there, I just built some house down there at the bottom. We were all in survival mode. They had been doing this for a couple months. And they were making the joke because I'm just over here in survival mode. I have this like 13 by 5 dirt house. And then the guy looks out over his porch of his mansion. He goes, Hey, buddy, look at this. Look at this idiot ruining our property value. I just got that. I'm like, Shut up. 
<laughs> you were at this point too. I yeah, I uh, I had a survival world like that where I built a yeah. Uh, I st I started working on it and then I stopped. I was building a uh, classic uh, white uh, plantation uh, mansion, you know, with the quartz pillars. I actually I built it mostly out of concrete because concrete's cheaper than quartz. But uh, yeah, quartz pillars, white concrete walls, beautiful house. I never, uh, never got to finish it. Oh, now we. Huh? Amazing. What? What'd you say? I say amazing. Yeah, well, it's whatever. Yeah, I don't know, I couldn't, I, I still can't come up with the idea. I mean, I, I, that's one of those games where I, I mean, I could possibly probably think of something, but in all reality, Minecraft's more to me, I just get on and just start working on something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Unless you have mods and stuff for like Lucky Black Day or going to the actually what if we technically did something like that but we got an amusement park map or something. We all went on the ride, just did some stuff, possibly found like a horror map, we did something like that. That would be I, I fun. Got the stuff that I would um <laughs> like I'm not sure if you watched any of the videos or the stream on that, so I'm just gonna pull this over here. I was playing Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't care how what people say if it's Easiest, stupidest, not scary horror game out there. I'm a jumpy easy garbage. I'll, I'll jump at my own reflection. And I literally came, came down the hall, stared one of the Jesus at me. I was over there in about half a second. I, how did that video go? I, I, I never got around to it, but how did, how did it turn out to go on? How did the views go on it? Honestly, right now, the live stream, for being a live stream, it was about 45 minutes long. <laughs> it's got more views than the regular video. Now, if you take now, in now, actually, if you take off the fact that it was 300 views automatically just from the stream itself, it still probably would be right around or even more than the regular video, which was like 600 something right now. But it was still, I mean, I, I, I just, I wanted to try to get into some more of a horror game style because people love to watch people get scared. It's like falling. Beauty Pie. don't get hurt, people just love to get watched and get scared. It was great. The next Beauty Pie there, Buck. Okay. It's great. And it's just something different because I, I literally fried for working on these because I'm trying to get, I've been literally trying to get these boats done. Like they wanted me to get this stuff done last week because they were going to be gone. Like, all our guys were going to be gone on the floor. And they're like, you need to record before. Yeah, not going to happen. I'm not getting that thing because I'm the only guy in our group anymore that does this. The other guy who did, he just he bought, built his new PC and never downloaded the stuff again. And huh. now he's kind of like forgotten how to strip the wheel. I'm like, boy. I make fun of him so much for it because he goes trailer park boys on me. Let's go. So, I was... No, I'd be... If we did like an adventure map or something, I'd be down. That'd be good. I like that. Like <laughs> you just... What? I'm just chilling. I thought you were like busy working. Now you're just like passed out. Well, no, I just said I just said screw working right now. I can take care of that afterwards. Like I said, I only got one boat left to do, and in all reality, it's kind of a place this one over the top of the other ones, and then just go eat the other stuff and then fire. But it's, it's, uh, it doesn't have nearly the amount of components as the other ones. It's, it's technically the easiest one of all. But then it had to hold the tube though. The one that holds the tube is already done. That's one I just got done working. Ah. That one's got things that, if that one's the most complex of them all, if it's possible, two of them, just the three boats that I'm technically working with, one's a Yamaha, another one's a Bay Liner, and then the last one, it's technically just named Steamboat, but I made it a master craft. And they're all just different boat brands. And they all look different. It's just that, like, the Bay Liner was the most complex because it has the motor lifts up. When you turn the motor to uh, the propeller spins, the window opens, it's got a selectable speed rack on top, which you have the entire full speed rack, you can get it up there, you can get the, the tow rope, the whatever it was, the tube behind you, you can detach to the top of the rack. You know, there's a little bit knot thing in the back of the boat, you can attach the thing there. I even did something where it, it says toggle cover, but you say we just had it where one of the guys pressed the to get out of the tube, throw the orange flag out and say everybody in this area slow down and it actually waves like an orange flag. So it's just 
it's a farm game, so boats have nothing to really do with it. But it's just, it's just a cool aspect of compared to what the other ones that are in the game right now, these things are the bomb. They are literally. Did they? Are are there stock boats in Farming Sim uh, 19? Nope, not even close. Well, I mean, there is boats, but you can't really use them. They're just kind of like sitting there. Like you can go up to the boat docks and you can see a canoe, but you can't get in. Right. Like, I remember in 17, on like the normal map or whatever the hell, it, if you were cutting logs and they would roll into the lake and they're just gone. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, that's not coming back. <laughs> there are a few maps that, um, well, I think that's just how you sold them. Because if you saw them, you just dump them into the water and that technically would be sold. Oh, and that, well, yeah, but, like, there's a certain part where they, if they rolled in, they're gone. They don't get sold. You can just see them sitting down there at the bottom of the river, and you're just like, <laughs> well, can't get that back. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you can't, like, float on the water. Well, some of them, I think, you can. Well, I think you might have been able to, unless you had, like, some heavy lift mod, but you probably would want This was on the Nintendo mod. Switch. There were no mods. Yeah, I was going to say, you ain't done that back to oil. Nope, it just rolled down to the bottom of the river. I'm like, oh, well, that's not coming back. Yeah, and that's the that's you should that's a big topic that you ever want to hear about. Just players, why come the why console players just cannot stop begging for PC mods? They cannot wrap it around their head that it, because it is PC, it's a third party platform. You can get these modifications. If you were to try and stick some sort of board, some sort of GMC, some sort of boat brand, Yamaha, any of those dirt bikes, if you try to put that on a console platform, technically, Giants Corporation, the ones that own Funcept, can't get sued. Like, Yamaha, all those guys get sued because they don't have a license. And the thing that I also figured out is that they have to get a license for that particular piece of equipment. Right, yeah. That's why. That's why they're never. That's why Farming Sim couldn't get John Deere until 2019. It's because they couldn't afford the license for it, and John Deere didn't want to do it. Well, I, I think from what I've also heard is that they kind of Deere finally threw in the towel because Case has been thriving on this. They, Case arrived in FS13. Like they've been in the game for close to six years, and everybody's like, "Why is Deere not doing this?" Well, apparently. The version of Deer said, okay, here we go, throw in the towel, we're going for it, and Deer finally just said, we're bringing our stuff in, and you should have seen the uprise when they saw that in the launch trailer, they opened up the door, and sure as heck, it was a John Deere 8R. Oh, I remember! I went nuts, too, when I saw the trailer. I was like, finally, they got John Deere, let's go! And I, I literally was in, like, I, was, I think I was in, like, one of the computer classes, and uh, what's her face? She was keeping Bastion's on. Yeah, Bastion. She was like, uh, nobody, where was tabs? I always keep one tab open on Google Chrome, and it would be giant salt, right? See how many more things they add here. And it was honestly good. And a lot of the groups, I mean, I'm in like 30 Facebook groups for all the mods for this stuff. And one that always comes to mind is JHHD and Custom Modding. Those guys take the EU versions of those trackers and combines and they flip them and make them US versions. So you, know, you can really get some real good aspects out of them. Another guy is like S Sid modding and he makes, I think he makes his own models, but he makes all the older stuff in here. Like, um, like apparently they just came out with something for all platform. It's an older like 1990s or 80s John Deere 40 stuff. The one track that everybody has wanted for years to come to the plate, and sure as heck now it's on, and it's a, and it's arrived for all platform. So the console players are complaining that they're not getting good mods. Why don't you go back about four years when you had to download a mod pack that consisted of like five things, and that's it. And like they get so much more stuff nowadays, but because they're not allowed to get something that's licensed, they just complain. Yeah, Will was taught. I don't. I don't. I guess I never asked Will about you know whether his tractor team gets on his mod packs or uh, or uh, if they're uh, licensed or anything. Wow, I am having problems today. I'm fried too. What the hell? Um, 
Yeah. He, but I, I'll see him, he's got mod packs on. And he'll, he has things called like money boxes that literally just make money for him. I'm like, bro, actually play vanilla like I do and like actually try and make the money yourself. And then he's like, yeah, that's way harder the other way. I do that one time. I do that maybe twice. Maybe three times. Okay. I've done it maybe three times. Money boxes? And no, like grinding. Oh. I'll do sometimes where I'll go into like hard mode where it gives you equipment and I'll sell it and I'll get the stuff I want. The one thing I want to do is, I'm not sure if you, how many people in farms you ever watch. You ever heard of Daggerwind before? No, the only other person I watched farms it was our teacher. <laughs> um, Mr. Moose 2000. Yes. Um, well, this guy, he made it big back in 17 because he decided to do a survival role play. If you want to talk about the best grinding it out, literally by the end of his life, this guy had like 300 episodes on this series. At the very end, he finally bought like a Toyota Tacoma. Like he started with literally nothing. And he was a Polish guy, so well he was a European guy, so he was on like some Polish map. But in all reality, like the entire series, he started with using the neighbor's equipment, then he finally got his own combine, and like five weeks later, he finally got another new combine, which was like two years newer, but it was still like forty years old. And he just kept grinding this thing and he finally bought like a truck at the very end. It was really, really cool. And he's got he gained like millions of people, thousands and thousands and thousands. Of Oh yeah, I mean, that's why I, I always kind of get irritated because like I see all these Minecraft players, they just, they get so big and it's like, I miss just old Let's Plays. Like this is one YouTuber, I don't like his Let's Plays that much as I used to because he doesn't really talk about the Let's Play that much. It's more of him just talking in the background and then it's just a video, it's just him playing Minecraft. Which it's kind of incredible that he can play Minecraft and literally talk. But he's not like, it's not like he just has like, has like a, uh, it's not like for like some of his other videos to so just have him playing Skyblock in the background, not Skyblock, but uh, Sky Wars in the background, but he has a scripted version of what he's talking about in front of him, that's just playing. No, instead, it's literally him playing Minecraft as he's talking about like the death of the universe. And I'm like, that's kind of impressive. But uh, it just kind of. So it's kind of like one of those where they're trying to describe what's going to happen in GTA 6. They got all these different features, all what's kind of different. And then in the background, it's just someone playing like GTA Online. Yeah, kind of, yeah. But I mean, he's actually, but but see, I, I, I miss back in the old, like, did you ever watch Stampy? I guess maybe you're too too young for this. Who? Stampy Longnose or Stampy Longhead? Oh, I have. It's been years. Right. Well, Stampy, other than like the later years where it started to become more role playing, the early stuff was was normal let's plays, and I like let's plays. You're talking about the gameplay mixed with you know your life a little bit, and I love that. That's how you. That's how it's. That's how I like to watch Minecraft. But hardly anybody does that. Like I know a lot of people like the role playing stuff, but I I really don't. That's, well, that's the other problem is now is when you go and look up any sort of MS stuff. The bar that our group set, everybody, you can't even type in FS without the tag that's right below FS19 that says roleplay. Because everybody at every single end of their video, they go, FS19 roleplay. Hey, we're going to do what we said. Everybody's now copying. Like, we have to do something way off the charts or completely something different. Kind of go back to what we were before all of our groups decided, like, hey, we're going to do this to get people's attention again. Because now, um, today, we're going to go buy a tractor. Dealer. Three weeks later, some guy that has like 200 people that follow like, hey, today we're going to a dealer to buy a tractor. Same exact video, same exact concept. Like, yeah, but that's why when someone says, like, that's why when like half of our series now, we have all these privatized stuff that no one has, especially like our boats. Most boats probably will be public. But that's what makes our content unique is someone wants to come check it out to see what is going on. And then they just yell at you, like, why, well, what's the point of making private mods if you have to give them to us? Like, well, I sat down with my butt, and I learned how to do this stuff. So if you want to make this stuff and have fun with this stuff, why don't you sit down and learn it yourself? Or, with being a console guru and actually get a PC, no. But that's the, that's the best one, is that uh, there's 
lot of the times the kids that get the most PO is when they'll, someone will post a really nice picture of a truck. I can't, I can't tell you how many comments I get on a video that says, can you bring this to the console? And I don't even, I don't even respond to them anymore because I let the other people in the comments rip that person a new one. They'll be like, dude, you can't be crying out loud. Dude, just go nuts on these guys. It's just, it's, it's almost a grab a black popcorn and watch it. It's just that much fun. I had, a, I had a flat earther we had to rip apart in my last podcast. They left a comment. So Will, my other guest star, Jealous, and Kyle and I ripped this uh, flat earther a new one. No, you should. You should. You got to go back and read the comment oh, I left on it. It's so goddamn funny. I tell him, I'm like, I will gladly uh, believe what you have to say, but until you get a rocket ship, I will continue to spread my lies. <laughs> <laughs> Until you get me a rocket I ship. To, I need to find this. Hold on. Which video was it? Uh, well, actually, if you want to read the comment, it's uh, it's my video on uh, can you see a new moon at night? It's like my second or third most popular video on the channel. Third or fourth most popular. If you go down to the comment section, it's by BZ, and <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, Wait, can you see a new moon at night? Yes. Alright. That's an old video. Wait, wait, which one is it? BZ. It's the flat earther. You gotta read the comment. Moon is flat, earth is flat, sun is flat, It gets hard to read. You better have a stroke later on. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna come back to that one. <laughs> okay, hey. Did you ever hear about the, the flat earth theorists? They're saying that if we have to keep social distancing, that people are going to start falling off the edge of the earth. Of course! Of course somebody said that! Of course! Not surprising. Did you, actually, no. Did you know there are flat earth spirits all around the world? All around the globe. I've seen that tweet. Yeah, that's, that's a good tweet. There are flat earth theorists all around the world. <laughs> all around the globe. Say that again, but slowly. <laughs> there are flat earth theorists all around thy globe. It is great. I love those. Yeah, that one was pretty good. No, 